Hello folks, it's me again. Uh, I just found uh, a very interesting text that I wrote a year ago when I was dissociated from the Watchtower. And this text is uh, somehow, I think the, the text is very interesting because it summarizes all things that I was noticing inside the Watchtower. I have to say that I didn't uh, have any access to uh, uh, so-called apostate uh, materials. I was trying to fade away from the cult uh, just based on uh, things that I was observing, I was feeling inside uh, Kindle Halls, uh, mainly how people used to behave and still behaves inside Kingdom Halls. And I find it all those uh, behaviors so weird, so uh, murky, so, uh, so painful, so I couldn't understand why uh, in many Kingdom Halls, in many congregations, people uh, were behaving like that. So I think that uh, I'm sure that this uh, uh, text will shed light on things that uh, it is still happening, especially to people who are, to JWs who are in doubt, who are struggling against um, their own thoughts because they do notice things uh, inside Kindle Hall. So I'm going to read right now. I'm going to look at my computer screen, which is just in front of me. Uh, this video is being uh, recorded by my through using my webcam. So I'm going to read it for you, and we can have some. Uh, we can have some thoughts and reflection on what is going on because I, I, I'm sure uh, uh, this kind of pattern, let's say, still uh, happens in Kingdom Halls. So, this uh, letter is dated uh, September 30th. Uh, 2015, last, last year, and it says the following. Well, uh, this week is a turning point in my life. Many of my friends were, let me wear my sunglasses, my sunglasses, not my glasses. Many of my friends were uh, here, many of my friends here know me by my work in animation art, mainly painting, and composition of backgrounds. However, this turning point, point uh, is not related to my professional life. This turning point, point is a cycle, almost a lifetime, that lasted 26 years of my life, since I was just six years old, when I study Bible was firstly started by a pioneer in 1990. In 1990, the Watchtower didn't, not, didn't seem to be a corporation, or at least it was very far from what it is right now. In the last five years, for instance, I was not happy at all within the Jehovah's Witnesses. With a smile not as candid as it used to be, as in the above photo, I attached a photo in the in accompanying this text I'm reading right now. Since 2010, I started to notice a reality totally murky surrounding me as well as my brothers around me. My brothers. My brothers were not like they used to be. 
with a growing of a false exercise of fraternity, which was just a diplomatic stance. Besides, I had also noticed almost everybody inside Kingdom Halls just pretending to be something very different from what they really are. They were not loving, they were not living a full and meaningful life in obeying Jehovah and Christ. From that moment on, I decided to travel around Brazil, which is a huge country, visiting various kingdom halls in different states and districts. And I noticed the same pattern in every JWs. Everybody was so much alike since their interactions with each other in the truth are growing in the lack of love, not indeed genuine, as well as a cynical exercise of brotherhood. Everything was reduced to a sociopathic and evil exercise of humanity. So much so that a human being, not a drone one like me, started to have episodes of deep depressions and sometimes some panic attacks. I've never ever imagined that all those episodes were the result of years and years of indoctrination, of evil indoctrination and into influence. After all, all the feeling of guilt as well uh, as well as your efforts and dedication was never enough to praise Jehovah, that is the organization. All the feeling of guilty, anxiety, and frustrations have their root in the evil into influence of Watchtower, an organization that I never ever imagined to be a cult, a dangerous cult, although seldom hearing from some people it was indeed a cult. Every time I attended an assembly or a congress, everything I heard from the pulpit started to sound nonsense and weird to me. Jehovah and Christ couldn't be so cruel, so bureaucratic, having pleasure in the hard work and sacrifice of millions of JWs around the world. Many of them composed of good people, although naive and totally blind to the evil reality surrounding them. I also started to notice that I was not the only one who was suffering from depression and anxiety. Many, many JWs was also facing the same emotional problems. Cases of deep depression and panic attacks were increasing outrageously within current JWs. The usual and expected excuse to justify the reason of these problems as having their source from the cliché lines like we are living in the last day of things, so all those things are expected. We are supposed to suffer from these problems as we are imperfect. However, I noticed that the majority of cases of depression within JWs was just a consequence of something hidden from their own, from their own perception and from my own perception. That is, everyone was kind of tired and exhausted, actually from the oppressive watchtower machine as the one which is a generator of all standardization of everything, mainly the banning of critical, analytical, logical thinking, if it really existed throughout the history of watchtower. Soon I've decided to be more pragmatic something difficult for me because I'm very short-tempered and I decided to be more pragmatic as I said 
in recognizing that the problem was not only in my mind, but also in the machine that generates it, an evil machine which generates a damaged syncretic ideology, very risky to any mind. From 2012 on, I decided to fade away slowly from attending meetings in the kingdom halls. Even hearing those cliches like, you are spiritually weak. Well, being the last three years away, just appearing in meetings, eventually, that was my case, I just appeared in the meetings uh, in the last three or four years. I just appeared uh, eventually in the meetings, not every week. So it was actually good to me because I was awakening while I was not uh, indoctrinating myself with all those bullshits they used to, to preach and to teach and to instill in every JW mind. My anguish and my symptoms as a result of panic started to vanish. So I discovered that the root of the problem was not in me, but in the, gem, in the damaging message underlying the evil discourse of Watchtower, promoted in the meetings, assemblies, and congresses. Up to that moment, I never had any access to what is labeled as apostate materials. One day, in a sunny and heating day of March, last year, here in Rio de Janeiro, precisely on March 6th, something just popped up from my computer screen of my desktop computer. Something curious and unexpected. A video thumbnail on YouTube channel entitled The Origin of Jehovah's Witness or something like that dated from that documentary dated from 1986 I guess I guess I think a documentary which not only portrays JWs up to that time but also reveals the main doctrines and its failures as well as the all the damaging taking place in their former JWs and actual members at that time all of a sudden, I just clicked on the thumbnail and watched almost the whole documentary, ending up into tears and desperation. Now I think that it was a brutal moment of cognitive dissonance I was facing. I've never ever imagined that one day I would discover such dreadful things. From that moment on, I did my own independent research on various issues related, related to taking care of whether or not those sources and materials were trustworthy, as we cannot trust in everything we see on the internet. But fortunately, all the sources I had access was all trustworthy. Fortunately, all those apparent speculations disappeared and revealed to be totally true and shocking. I cried my eyes out as I didn't want my mom, who is in her 60s, with health problems common to her age, to know all that she had trusted throughout her entire life was just an illusion. I spent more time or less two months trying to discover the best way to reveal everything to my mom and sister. Besides, to my surprise, my mom decided to be aware of everything I had discovered about what tower. She said to me that she would she wouldn't continue to live in she wouldn't continue live a lie pretending that everything she knew were just a fantasy. June, July and August of last 
year were just months of intense studies and making research, hours reading the well-known Crisis of Conscience, among other interesting readings. So, folks, what I want to highlight and raise is the following questions. All of these, all of those features, all of these features I just, I've just read on this letter of how things uh, happen inside Kindle Halls, all the behavior found in all in JWs, especially those uh, who are so indoctrinated, uh, episodes of deep depressions, episodes of panic attacks and anxiety. They probably, all those symptoms still, I'm sure that still happens in many, many JWs and they are suffering. I'm, I'm very sure that they are, there are many JWs who are awakening without noticing. So what do you think? Do you think this, that it is happening exactly the same, uh, uh, the same pattern which I, I noticed throughout these last uh, five years in which I was uh, inside the Evil Watch Tower. What do you think? Do you think that uh, all JWs are extremely indoctrinated and don't uh, raise any question? Or do you think that there are many who are in doubt, many who are struggling against themselves because they are noticing without the need of uh, for instance, check uh, what uh, elders call uh, apostate materials. What do you think? So that's uh, the text I, I, I wanted to share with you. And I think that we can think about it, about all these things that I've just read. Thanks a lot, folks.